Okay, so that last bit about the homeless, let me just read a clip because it was such a long time ago. This was like 2013, 14, so when I wrote this and when I was experiencing um, the research that I had done with the homelessness and the homeless, and that was quite a while back. But um, it says, in cities like Philadelphia in 2012 and Fort Lauderdale in 2014, both city mayors are trying to get the private individuals or businesses to stop helping the homeless because the mayors fear it will bring more. I think the homeless populations are growing. As I travel the country, I fear the populations will include new sources. In California, I was shocked at how many homeless I found in a, in a small cities like San Diego and Sacramento. But California is the state with the most vets in it. President Obama has made Housing Vets by 2015 his project, but I am not sure how this project is going. I wish the media would ask him for an update. It seems they only chase scandals. This isn't helping to put a bit of pressure on our governing bodies to perform better or at least to keep the public updated on campaign promises. I was pleased to see the VA reach out to help the females, and I made a lot of nice public service announcements, raising awareness about this effort by recycling the illustrations of some children's book artists, but since it was not my art, I hesitate to show these collages. I made in layout class here without their collaborative permission. But creating them was a wonderful experience, and I thank Rosanna and Jody. Jody Thompson was the, the photography teacher, and Rosanna was my um, conceptual art teacher, where we did a lot of conceptual art, like these public awareness announcements, which is what I chose to do, for giving me the chance to express some of my heartfelt passions, as well as research and create significant awareness flyers and public service announcements. Um, and then I also gave kudos to the CEO of Publix because he's been giving a lot of money to charities. And um, in an interview, he was asked um, where his company would be had he not given those millions of dollars to charity. And he replied something to the effect that he would not be where he is today had he not given that money to charities. In other words, he and his company received many blessings from having given and I hope that the mayors of Philly and Fort Lauderdale will keep that bit of truth in mind when making policy. I think that any city or country, for that matter, will be blessed if they help their poor, if they help the needy, if they help the fatherless, and if they help the elderly. They will always be blessed. And this is what the public CEO was saying. He was saying, we're going to get further if we give than if we withhold, which is not a good thing. Withholding from needy populations is always wrong. And um, if you had difficulty reading the comics, okay, so I'm letting people know how they can, how they can increase the zoom in to the screen. So anyways, um, I just felt like I was leaving the last number three, and then we're going on number four of the online portfolio. This is turning into kind of a mini-series. But anyways, um, like I said, I'm trying to capture what's on here because I don't know if it's going to exist later. A lot of these web places disappear and this has a lot of information on it that I don't want to lose. So here is some work that I did with Diane Samet, who was a terrific illustrator teacher. I had her for two quarters. And she is dynamite teacher, and she helped us to create some very cool things and taught us lots and lots. And she had videos that we could watch later, and she was just a dynamite person, dynamite teacher. And um, she taught us to do the mesh, and that Lily is a mesh, and then I learned how to do other things with mesh. Uh, this is called photorealism. So the left side of this 
image is what I created on the mesh and the right side is the actual photograph and this is a picture of my daughter on her wedding day so that's what's going on with that picture and she taught us how to do a lot of things on Illustrator so this thing has tons of different details to it and with each detail she was teaching us different techniques and her curriculum was just outstanding and very comprehensive. These are blending functions and multi-step processes. And then uh, Andrew Bing was my logo teacher. And this is a logo that I created for a fake tennis team that was in Miami. So they don't exist, but there's my logo. And here is the logo printed on different things like racket cover and a dress for tennis. And uh, it was kind of hard getting him to understand that in tennis we are very discreet when it comes to logos. They go neatly in the right top corner of clothing. They're not emblazoned on clothes like they are in other sports. Okay, then I took Dreamweaver classes and I made a website on GoDaddy. Uh, and then later on I went back to Wix, which is the cheap, the cheapo version because GoDaddy charges and I don't have a lot of money. Leslie Oru was my Dreamweaver teacher, very good teacher. Another excellent teacher was Kimberly Maxwell, and she did color theory for me. And then I took color theory again. Um, this time it wasn't manual arts color theory, it was digital color theory, but I did that here in Sacramento Arts Institute, and that was in 2015, or yeah, 2015, 2014, which is uh, where we're going next. So I did 36 quarter credits in Fort Lauderdale Art Institute. I don't think this has, this doesn't have my, uh, hold on just a second. 